So, Mr. Peter. Yes. I have the pleasure of actually sitting down with you and interviewing you after coming to Animal Con for the third year in a row. Third year in a row. Thank third you very much for having yeah. me. Thank you for coming Appreciate over it. here. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh, Obviously, geez. he has an accent if you can't tell. I sound a little bit weird. Yeah, that's right. Just a little bit <laughs> weird. weird. So I'm from South Detroit, like really south. <laughs> really, really, really south. Yeah, really south, it's like Australia. Australia. Yeah. Like Austra oh, like Australia. Bit like Australia, yeah. Way, so, way uh, south. Like you so, dug, dug all the way deep and then got down there. Yeah, it's a big swim. I try to explain to people what is Animal Con, and I can't. I can't put a true word on it. Like it's right. a whole different type of atmosphere. That's right. I guess if you're coming to, like, as uh, you want to see a reptile show, you've come for the wrong reason, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's so much more than just a, sh a show we can meet and greet with vendors that do sell animals, yep. as well as people that promote uh, like animal conservation. You've got people over there doing rescuing of skunks and, yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. and stuff the like that. That's pretty cool. Yep. Uh, but, you know, I'm very conservation based, so to me that really pulls a heartstring. Uh, and, I mean, there's camels over the back there. There's all yep. sorts of things here today. It's crazy. Monkeys. We had a water buffalo Monkeys, earlier. Water buffalo. Yeah, water crocodiles. Buffalo. And, oh, yep. Tons of cool stuff. And artwork. I mean, it's, it's everything. It's, it's, a, it's definitely everything. I mean, and also you guys. You know, you guys fight for the rights of all animal keepers, yeah. which is something pretty impressive. Thank you for knowing what we do. That's of course the I do. Thing. I've known what you guys do for many, many years. I've <laughs> right. been a reptile We've guy, been right? around a little bit. Oh, a, little a little bit. bit. Yeah. Probably a little bit longer than me, <laughs> right. which is cool. Uh, but Animal Con really is about meeting and greeting, uh, I, I guess, creators. Yep. Think of myself as an animal person, number one. Yes. And what I do uh, when I do create videos, I hopefully it's more educational. So it's a bit sharing your passion yep. on a bigger platform. So that's what I do. Um, and you know, meeting other people from different countries is probably the most coolest thing. You get to make contact with people, therefore yep. when you do travel, which I do a bit of traveling, I've now got a port of call which I can draw on, I can talk to those people, find out where they are, hang out with those guys, if not, find out other content that they're working on and yep. get to film tons of cool stuff. And that's the best part, yeah, you're like, hey, I'm headed here, oh, you yeah, know, definitely. who do I know here? And then you, yeah. yeah, you hook up and then we all have common interests somewhere. Oh, definitely. So definitely, then we have 100%. fun together yeah. and, that, and that's the best part of it. It's all about that animal instinct, I guess, that we all have that animal instinct where we want to be with the animals, learn more about the animals and then share that love to the greater audience. To everybody, yeah. exactly. And this is completely different because it's more of a social setting. Oh, so yes. we actually get more time with each other to actually talk and get to know each other, which yeah. is also huge. And then we have the cool panels here too. Yes, I think panels, that's yeah. my favorite part, is the different panel breaks out. So you can actually like learn about certain segments. That's right, you can learn about everyone's individual experiences yep. and see that where they've come from and where they are today, you yep. know, and what what has created them to be what they are. Yep. Like Most of them are pillars of educational tools, yep. right? So, and it's all over the place. Anywhere from learning how they started their like Facebook yep. page, their Instagram page, yep. to how there's animal advocates here in yes. and conservation. So I mean, it's all over the place. And then last year they brought the kids panel. That, oh yeah, the kids that's panel. That's my to favorite. Me, to me, I think that's probably the most impressive part. Yep. And I mean, I know Brian's passion yep. for all of this was absolutely amazing. And I know the big push was towards children because that's the future of what, everything we do. And that's right. probably the most important and the pinnacle part of what we do is promoting this towards children and hopefully they pick up the torch and take on what we're doing and then take it to the next level. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm an old bloke. I'm getting older every day. It's not getting any younger. No, we're, so, you no, know, we're not getting any younger. People don't want to always watch the old people. They want to yep. see the young people yep, coming absolutely. up. And, and promoting and pushing and impressing pressing on these kids the importance of nature yep. I think is something very, it's huge. very important. Yeah. They're going to keep it going. They're going to be our future. I mean, Definitely. we started somewhere. That's correct. And yep. now we have to continue to pass that along. Yes, got to hand the torch off. Exactly. Yeah. And there's lots of kids here, which is just, I yeah. love seeing the kids here. That's probably, that's one of my favorite parts. Yeah. To here. me, I, I think that's probably the most important part. And I would spend more time and effort working with children than with the adults, you know. Oh, yes. A hundred percent agree. And even as many animals and stuff I've been around, I still get all nerded out about touching certain things here. Like the water buffalo, I was like, I haven't touched a water buffalo, so that was kind of, I was like, oh my God, but like skunks, and like you, it never gets old. You're literally like, That's oh right. my gosh. We're well, not getting skunked on anything. Anyway. Can I touch your skunk? Yeah. <laughs> Can I touch this? So, well, if people want to find you, how do they find you? Well, just find me at Criticam. All yep. my socials are, are there. The, Criticam for everything. Super easy. Yep, super easy, easy to find just you. Just like me, like yep. Australian. <laughs> easy as. I thought it was Detroit. Now it's Australia again? South Detroit, Australia. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's that little suburb. Just want to make sure we clarify that yeah. one. So, yeah, for sure. well, thank you for joining awesome. me, no and I'll see you next year. You will. I'll be here for Woop sure. Woop. Thanks Thank again. You. Thank you.